What is up guys, it's Tony here, and today we are doing a really cool little montage editing tutorial on an effect that I've probably used about a thousand times, uh, but I've really uh, incorporated it in a very creative way in my recent edits, and I'm sure it's kind of allured some of you guys into me, you know, trying to show you guys uh, how to use it in the future. Now basically, this is a cool little effect, um, it's basically just backwards motion, it's reversing your clip. Um, a lot of times at the end of an edit or at the end of something, uh, or in the middle of an edit or a song, uh, it'll kind of do the backwards, you know, like a record, you know, what is, what's it called, like the record scratch type of thing. Um, and you kind of want to slow-mo it and make it go backwards, or fast mode, I should say, and make it go backwards. Uh, so here's basically how you do it. We're going to do it with this really cool um, old school edit that I did back in the day called Blank. Um, which is pretty much for, a, I think it was my first dubstep edit ever for a contest. Now, basically, uh, if you take, you know, some sort of edit, we'll chop this up and make it look like it's an edit. And if you have a chopped up edit with, like, you know, audio and all, all that type of shit, keep all the audio up on top, keep the song on bottom, don't touch any of that, but just select all of the clips and all of the effects that are on these clips and maybe even the text. And what you're going to do is you're basically just going to uh, copy the all those clips, the selection of those clips. You're gonna come out of that project, do a new project, and you're just gonna call it like you know rewind or something like that. And then you're gonna hit uh, Command V to you know po po paste all those clips into there. And then you're gonna make a new compound clip. And on that new compound clip, you're going to reverse the clip by going to the retimer. And then you're gonna speed up the clip, do fast motion um, about. I would say negative eight times, which means because it's reversed, it's why it's negative. And that usually will give you the effect you want. I have the audio on. Let me turn that off. That usually gives you the effect you want. Uh, maybe you want it a little bit faster. You can use the retime tool here, and you can make it a little bit faster so you can see how it looks now. Now, as you can see, it's pretty like you know difficult to understand what's going on. Like you can't tell it's you know really going reverse. It just looks like things are going fast. Uh, so we're going to show you guys how to make it look a little bit better. So copy, uh, copy that clip. Uh, using Command C, come back into your edit, and then use the mag uh, the magnetic snap tool to place it where you want your slow mo. Now, uh, with this clip, what you're going to do is you're going to use an effect of some sort. Um, I'm going to be using the bad TV effect that I uh, I recently purchased uh, to plug in, um, but you can also use the standard bad TV effect, whatever works for you. Uh, you just need a bad TV effect that has a uh, a roll, a you know like a rolling feature where it rolls up and down. Now what you're going to do is you're going to zoom in a little bit, and you're going to go into the effects uh, control tab. Whoops, I hit the wrong one, didn't I? I think I did. So now I just did something really weird. What did I do? Alright, I think I fixed it. Okay. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go into the video animation tab, and you're going to go into the roll, and you're going to make it roll backwards. So you're going to start here and make it roll backwards. Now you'll notice very simply it starts to roll backwards in the animation. It's simple as that. Uh, you might want to turn up the roll a bit and make it look a little bit faster. And you can change around that all you want. Um, you can make this a little bit faster. I'll probably do that a little bit. And now you can see it looks a little bit better. And you might also want to add some waviness and things like that. But basically you can also add like your own effects onto this, like sound effects to make it look a little bit better. Uh, whatever works. And I would recommend at the, you know, at the end of this to add a cross dissolve. You kind of want it to go backwards into like a cross dissolve. And say you want another clip to start up here. Uh, I'll just place a clip here. You'll see how that looks right here. It's going to be a little bit difficult, but there you go. So it kind of fades out, and then a new clip starts up. So play around with it. See what uh, works for you. I just wanted to give you a basic example of how to take a whole montage that's edited up and then, uh, you know, reverse it. Because some people might go, okay, we'll just select all the clips and then uh, compound clip them, and then reverse it, uh, and then what do you do? Then you got to like copy it and paste it, and now if you want to go back and edit anything, you, you have to break apart clip items, which sometimes it doesn't let you do that. For example, right now, for some reason, it's not letting me do it. So basically, that's the best method to do it. Um, so if you guys enjoyed this video, it's just a short one, um, go ahead and comment below. If you have suggestions for future montage editing tutorials, go ahead and comment those below as well. And uh, like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time.